Hello everybody, welcome back to the walkthrough, let's see what Peach has to say this time. Dear Mario, I've got bed sores from being tied up in Bowser's bed since you started this. When are you getting here already? Uh, that's not, that, that, we probably shouldn't read any more than that. Uh, at least she was able to send us one up somehow, that's, that's pretty nice. I will. <laughs> Alright. Clear, 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 unclear. <laughs> I suppose this is our nearest one. Throwback Galaxy Comet. Go! Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> it is the Womp Silver Star Speedrun. Or at least you know the locations of them this time, so. <laughs> Well, I, I should have known where they were as I played through it a couple of times, but it's, it's hard to memorize every little detail in every game, I swear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey, what you got to say? Hey, Stash Man, thanks to you, this place is peaceful again. Same dialogue, really? That's kind of interesting. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is this a different place? Or, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's not in a different place. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just that, you know, the whole memory thing that I was talking about. Alright, so... Now we're gonna go around. Ready? Go! <laughs> go! Yeah, that was good. Looking good. <laughs> Number three... As long as I'm staying efficient, we should be alright. Yes, no, 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 no. No time for notes, no time for chatter, especially if you've got the same dialogue as you did before. Let's sneak up here a little bit, a little bit quicker. There we go. <laughs> so I know there's a star hanging out over here. And finally, there's a star hanging out on top of the world. So I'm gonna do a triple jump. Do the- oh shoot, that wasn't- well, this should still work out. Because I got the power of the flower. <laughs> There we go, going up, and voila! Oh, I was gonna say voila, but well. <laughs> Missed my landing! There's our five stars. See how much faster that could have gone if I would have remembered where their locations were? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna break my way through the clouds here. There we go. Oh, I could I could have gotten a couple of star bits there, but alas, alas. I was just too impatient. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That went nice and smooth, as it should have been the first time. <laughs> 103, galaxy complete! <laughs> and moving on. I will again. Thank you for those words of encouragement. Oh, I'm gonna need them here. It's Battle Belt Galaxy. You know, a fun fact about this game is that they had extra material and ideas and stuff like that from the first Galaxy, but too much for just like, you know, to, to put in Galaxy 1, so they decided, ah, let's do, just put it in a, you know, let's do a sequel, and that, that's pretty awesome, I think, that they did it that way rather than some sort of DLC thing, <laughs> hint, hint. Hmm. So, Battle Belt. You know, we actually have an Atari 2600, but I'm not sure if I can actually record it. It's, it's kind of like got one of those awkward video signals that just can't, the camera doesn't really like. But I could always do emulation with that. So, okay, Battle Belt. You know, I, I'm actually a bogey golfer, like slightly better than bogey golfer in real life, which is, I heard, like it's slightly better than average or so, something like that, so that that's not too shabby, I, I think, I suppose. I, I prefer to be, you know, trying to get it down to shooting par, but uh, I can't stall this out anymore. Let's just do it. Battle Belt Galaxy, let's just tear the band-aid off, rip the hair out with it. <laughs> It is the mini planet Daredevil run. Oh man. <laughs> oh, maybe this isn't the. Bo Again, maybe it's not the boss rush that I thought it was, but we do have to get through this without, uh, you know, 
taking a hit, but... <laughs> yes. Oh, and I guess I could choose to be Luigi. Hey. That's That'll always be fun, I suppose. Sure, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought there was a boss rush on this place. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of a different sort of game dealio or whatnot. Well, anyway, I'll just... I was just gonna say, it's just a matter of being careful, and you've seen me do a shaker shaker. It didn't register quick enough, though, I guess. Didn't register quick enough. So yeah, coins, not really, not really the most handy of things now that we've only got one health, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I could've sworn there was a time boss rush, unless I was thinking of the first game. Ah, uh, um, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait, well, hold on, did I actually say something different at the beginning? You're back? You're weird. Well, same deal. Yeah, it is actually something a little bit different. Interesting. Interesting. The little cinders here, they're pretty they're pretty easy to defeat because they don't really like... Yeah, it, as long as you spin near them, you don't even have to be in there like really close to them like you would a Goomba or something like that to actually get them to fizzle out. You can just, yeah, knock them for a loop and there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna need this, if you don't mind, and get to throw him. I should probably get them at a distance. Were you, did you just avoid my fireball? Did you just actually dodge? What? What? No, that can't be. You couldn't possibly have an AI. That's impossible. <laughs> Maybe I can get a couple crabs with this fire flower now that I'm letting it... Ah, oh, I don't know what it last... Oh, I actually got it somewhere! <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know what that last one was, but I got it so <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, any, any extra toad dialogue here for the... Well, they're... You're sleeping! You're sleeping! Sleeping on the job and I'm doing all the work again. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta watch out for the fires and ground pounds, the Goombas. Uh, oh geez. Yeah, because the fire is a ground pound into them with this fire. We're gonna cause damage to ourselves like we did before, and that might not end all too well, especially since we've gotta do this nice and perfectly. <laughs> I don't think I'll have to battle Gobble Gut though. This isn't this isn't the same path through the level though, so it shouldn't be too much worry of a daredevil. Wait a second, I just wanna see okay. I just wanna see if there's any more star bits. <laughs> All right, Boo Interior. Let's uh, go. The Boos you know, don't. They're not really. I. You notice know, that they don't. They aren't really like shy like the other ones in here. They just kind of weave back and forth gently and whatnot. <laughs> All right, grab this. No spinny spins. Remember, this is this is Luigi we're talking about here. We gotta get. Got. Uh, gotta be careful of our air meter. There we go. Oh, that's nice. That's looking good. Awesome. Tastic. And we're out of here. <laughs> so far, so good. So, maybe this... It wasn't a boss rush that I remembered here. It was a, uh... Enemy killing spree without... Uh-oh. Without taking damage. Well, there is this here. Yep, that you never be scared. You can all of my enemies. I'll just take a break right now. <laughs> okay. So, we got this. Does this mean we will be battling Gobble Gut? I mean, my memory has failed me a bunch of times in this walkthrough already. No, okay, good. Good. Because <laughs> you know how the, uh, the whole, uh, um, comet, you know, prankster comets can change the order of things or whatnot in the galaxies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just never know. <laughs> Alright, moly polies. Just, I'll just wait in your path. Not really gonna bug me too much. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I can even do this on the side of you, too. That'll work just as well. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> so I guess this wasn't as bad as I remember it, because it's not, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that... Oh, this is... This could be problematic. Because, uh, yeah, I gotta make sure that I'm killing them carefully so I'm not jumping into their spikers. There we go. Nice and gentle. Having an easy time. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely not the one that I was thinking of, which is good. Very, very good. Okay, I'll I'll stall out stuff more in the future if need be to bide my time while I mentally prepare for a boss rush. I'm pretty sure there was indeed a boss rush somewhere in here. <laughs> 
Alright, let's, let's smash the chomps up, and I'll take some damage, and preferably get a couple of star bits along the way too, that's always nice. Uh, this should do it! Yeah! Woo! And there's no dangers left on the planet! Just stuff the bump star bits out here. <laughs> okay, we're, we're good. All is well now. <sighs> okay, so since it wasn't the one I was thinking of, we're okay. We're okay. There's no no need to have anxiety over that there, Devil. It was just simple enemies. No need no need to stall at out or anything like that. Ghosts, yeah, galaxy complete. This ghost is probably just to show you over to the secret star, probably, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> all I know is I think I'm gonna go over to my favorite galaxy now, because I do believe all the other galaxies are complete, yeah, except for that uh, Slimy Spring, which is my favorite, and then the final galaxy. So, Slimy Spring it is, baby! Now, this is... it's a really weird galaxy. It's, I, so, I, I don't expect everyone to like it as much as I do, but the thing about it is that it's just got such a unique atmosphere, and just... Well, you'll see what I mean about it. It is the Deep Shell Well. There's actually two stars here besides just this one. We gotta wait for something else to pop on over here. But it's basically an, an entirely uh, swimming-type level with shells and stuff like that, and booze and all sorts of stuff that you can zap with your shell's light and stuff like that. Obviously, there's a secret that you can see all the way up over on the left side there. But yeah, listen, listen to the music of this. There's, there's nothing like this in the game. Everything is super upbeat, um, classical, combined with techno-type music, I guess you could say. Uh, all, and yeah, it's just... it's totally different and just stands out compared to any other galaxy. Come on, more star bits. Ah, oh, you're not a star bit! Like, I guess I could transform you into star bits. But that's not that's not gonna give me nearly as many star bits as I would have otherwise. <laughs> Alright, there's our bonus. So back to that music. Just listen while I tackle the bats as well as this box over here. Just a couple of notes. N nothing too th oh, nothing too threatening sounding. It's it's not a really difficult galaxy or anything like that. It's just it's just, you know, it's its own atmosphere, as I was saying. And look at this this whole water thingy running here along everything. Like, that's... it just... it's beautiful! <laughs> nothing there? Oh man, you're making me check stuff for nothing, aren't you? <laughs> uh, anything in the corner? No, no. I don't think there's actually anything else here. Although you can actually jump off into the abyss, I do believe, if you really wanted to. I think you can. Oh! Oh, yes you can! <laughs> Alright, I think I think we're done exploring here. Wait, actually... Uh, yeah, we're done. We're done, we're done. Let's move on. <laughs> I don't need your money. No, no, there's money coming down here. <laughs> Then we start out with the slide going into the slimy spring type well place here. And now, the real level begins. Oh man, spin to grab a shell! We know that from like World 1! <laughs> Actually, I think it's World 2. But still, but still, we're here. And we gotta be looking out for the. Did I just break the other shell? We gotta be looking out for a little crevice along the left side. That right there, as it contains a comet metal. Here we go. Oh man. <laughs> and the rest of it is just kind of like, eh, you can go through relax. No big deal. You know, I wonder if this would be more difficult with uh, Luigi. Because, you know, if you want to do spins to get through, like if you accidentally lose a shell or something like that, and you gotta get to your next air place or something. Yeah. And then you could come to this really unique section. Oop. Really unique section here. You got some urchins kind of being all spiky down the hill. And I'm uh, kind of running low on air here, but I know a bubble is coming up. We'll be okay. We'll be okay, I assure you. I should probably go and... Uh, wait a second. Wait, what? That, I thought there was... Huh? I thought, uh, what? I thought I could have swore that there was... Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to start taking damage now. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, you just crashed into stuff. Oh yeah, it goes straight down. Whoopsie doodle, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh jeez, why did I think that was a dead end? <laughs> oh, we're back over here, that's great. <laughs> oh man, some, some of the things that I do are just so dumb. I swear. <laughs> like, why would there be a dead end when your only thing is a shell? I should have just continued on. Then there would have been a bubble down there like I thought. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, there's star bits up there I kept forgetting to get. <laughs> so that's, that's, I guess that was my plan all along, was to play the level to show you. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the level is indeed a race to the finish of sorts to get to the end of said slimy spring before you run out of air in each section. Each section is quite different from the rest in terms of your shell movement and stuff like that. And yes, I did have to recollect that because I died and whatnot, but not really a big deal or anything like that. It's pretty easy to get to. Maybe it takes a little extra time to go through there, but you still gotta do it. Still gotta do it for 100%. Yeah, there's a lot more urchins when you're going through here uh, in just like pure speed orders. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just, just bar barrel my way through there this time. No! Throwing shells. Got it? Good. And there's the air bubble. There's the air bubble. <laughs> and over here, this is weird here. There's a, like a bubble transition. Like the water just ends there. There's no. Uh, I'm not even sure you can see it from here because the fog, but... Yeah, yeah, like there's our star right there that we use, but there's no water coming from it. It's like, it's just a bubble. <laughs> uh, you can long jump over here from there, or you can jump on the Goomba, whatever, whatever which way you please. I'm just gonna explore this for kicks here. Yeah, okay, we're good, I think. I think. There's an arrow made of coins there. Delightful. <laughs> And now we're going into the boost ring combined with the boo section, which you can also kill <laughs> with the shells if you'd like to, if you really want to. There really isn't all that much to see in these sorts of crevices though, it's just, just more of a thing of boost your way through, or, or use the boost to get through, or you align with something like that, something like that. <laughs> and you notice that your, your air doesn't really run out that way, it's kind of... Kind of simple like that. <laughs> no real worries of that. Just enjoy your trek through there. <laughs> it's not a hard galaxy or anything like that. In fact, that first portion where I was messing around too much. Probably the hardest, even though it's not really all that hard. And then you come to this ending here. With no music. Just beauty. Just beauty. Like, what? What? <laughs> There's a shell of you you want to... You know, if you want to grab that and open the chest with it, but just take in the beauty. Just enjoy it. Relish it. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's see what's in the chest. Woo! Oh, Jesus, Captain Toad! <laughs> That's another surprise in this galaxy. Ah, oh, thank you, oh, Mario. I uh, was taking a quick nap and... Oh, who am I kidding? I grabbed a star, but I fell and got trapped inside the chest. It was so stuffy in there. Thank you for saving me. Why don't you take the star? Just please don't tell the other toads about this. Okay, I guess. Can I take some of those... Lilies of the Valley home with me, that would be lovely. I'd put them in a, in a pot and we can harvest them for more and have them all around the house. That would be nice. That would be nice, but I don't think we can. We can only take that star. Alas, alas. <laughs> can't believe I died here, though, just, just because of that stupid misinterpretation of that quote-unquote dead end that's not a dead end. <laughs> I'd have had plenty of time to make it to that bubble. Alright. Nothing to go back to right now until something else unlocks. So that leaves. Wait, I was to say, is it actually going to give us a comet now? I don't think so, because I think it's a uh, post game comet thing. Because obviously the uh, other castle's got to come after this, so yeah. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we check out the final world of. Well, I mean, final galaxy of World 6.